Sumi's prayers, a summer sea. Tawny droves of camels pour out upon the green of Palestine, rivers of sheep brimming up the narrow drove roads to Jerusalem. Have you been there? We shall all go to the city of our God. Come up upon my altar with acceptance, that my house of prayer may be made beautiful. Your sons come from afar, their gold and silver with them, to the name of Yahweh their God bringing, to the holy of Israel. For beauteous have you made us, our gold and silver shining within us. The poets of Israel spoke little of the sea, dwelt more frequently upon the hills, an inland, sealess people, even in fear of it. The roar and crash of the sea upon the shore rendered to them the futile rage of the world, as it dashes against your holy and steadfast will. They painted the nation's prosperity as the waves of a summer sea, its long coastland stretching out to you, and the white-sailed ships coming in like doves to their windows. Jerusalem, mingling of the material and the world, had you yourself in evident presence, her light and glory. This too we will have in great and glorious Zion, the material new, the moral ancient, in steadfastness, the companioned life of the spirit. We shall not forever leave the things we have known, though they be enhanced, we will essentially be God and his people, nothing besides. The days of mourning are ended. Himself bear our sicknesses, carried out our infirmities, and we present it to you holy, white, and pure lambs. It is not plain there. There is hardiness and lavishness about it, graces, feelings, extrapolated faculties, joy, music, and the sense of beauty. The fairness, justice, vengeance we sought all our lives will be there, yet they will not be ours but yours. The affairs of earth were not ours. Everything that is, is about you, is of you, is within you. Yet in you is no solitariness. All things are given to us, and not abstractly, but in generous love. Our life will be all of comprehensive blessing. We support our life by principles, by reason, and by argument, by philosophy and law. But there is something of greater concern than either argument or abstract principles, something that our reason of itself cannot find, but for our conscience, but increases its longing. It is whether certain things are or are not facts, whether the supreme power of the universe is on our side, combating for righteousness, whether you are love, whether sin is forgiven, whether sin and death have ever been conquered. Has a summer come in which we are the white dove at our window, all influence of heaven on our side. Upon this scene comes Messiah to us with the good news that of God, the good news of God that you are the supreme force in the universe and are on our side, winning victory and freedom for us. God has proclaimed pardon. A savior has overcome sin and death. We are free to break from evil, help in the struggle for holiness. Summer has come, the acceptable year of the Lord proclaimed, begun, and all the favor of the Almighty is on your people. These are the incalculable differences made to us who believe. Amen.